Thank you, Matthew. Um, this project is finished and it was done by MEC student Minette Havenga and the honor student uh, Greg uh, Gatsi. So we looked at three different phases within the production system. We looked at commercial orchards, young commercial orchards, of which was one year old. We looked at nursery material, nursery trees, and then also the propagation material. So to report first from disease trees collected from one-year-old orchards, we visited 13 farms, collected 10 trees that showed visible canker symptoms, and isolated from them and found wood rot and canker pathogens out of 42% of those 130 trees. Of certified nursery apple trees, we um, collected trees from four different nurseries, um, and from these 480 trees, 65% um, had wood rot and uh, canker pathogens um, inside. When we looked at the propagation material, the sign mother block trees, here we looked at three different sign uh, cultivars. Um, and there we, we uh, sampled from 310 trees, and from these 310 trees, 47% had um, canker or wood rot pathogens. From asymptomatic rootstock plants, from rootstock layer blocks, there were 21% of these uh, pathogens present. So that's a, a quick summary of, of what we found. When we cut open a nursery tree, what we found is what I've already showed in the previous presentation is that the bud union pruning wound sign, uh, as well as the rootstock, has got infections uh, varying in different levels, but the top three is not significantly different. And what you can see here on the left hand side, that dark brown streaking that runs down from the top, it runs from the pruning wound down uh, into the rootstock of the, of the tree. Also the, um, on the right hand side, you can see here uh, picture number D at the bottom, the white rot that's already present in such a very young tree. And that, is, that was very unexpected to find already white rot in such a young tree. We looked at four different nurseries. The, the uh, infection percentages range from 51 to uh, 71 percent. Uh, so all four nurseries uh, had infected material. The three different rootstocks that we investigated, there was no significant difference between the three different rootstocks. And then we found a quite a high diversity of fungal um, pathogens, which are represented here um, within this pie chart. Um, most, the fungus that was most abundant was the Dedamusferia, um, which was previously known as Paracornithirium brasiliense, which Mia Klute, that's in the audience, would know. It's her publication from an MEC that uh, is associated with cankers from mature apple trees. Then the other fungal groups that are important are the Buttresferiaceae, uh, the Diaportes, the Diatrapaceae. The Diatrapaceae are Eutypa lata, and Eutypa lata we found specifically on the mature um, um, cyan mother trees. It's a pathogen that, that is commonly associated with uh, older trees. And then also the Damala species. The Damala species was especially in the rootstock layer blocks. So we needed to test quite a few of these pathogens since there were 25 new reports for South Africa on apples. And all of these um, species did form lesions that were significantly different from the control. So we can uh, view them as pathogens. And on the right hand side, you can see it, the pictures are not so clear, but the dark brown discoloration that these uh, fungi cause within this, the xylem tissue. <coughs> so what is the bottom line? How can we improve the whole system? Firstly, the sign mother blocks need to be kept in a, in a better order. So sanitation needs to happen. Cankers need to be removed from those sign trees. So because on a dead piece of ca uh, um, branch, there are lots of fruiting bodies that can occur there that um, can then produce spores and be distributed. So, um, and this we also found in one of these um, uh, mother block orchards, um, but, uh, that is Tramites vesicular, um, forming basidiocarps on, a, on dead stumps. Within the nursery, uh, the one area where improvement can be done is by applying a, a better pruning wound sealant. So what we see is that 30% of the pruning wounds have been infected or were infected, so a better pruning wound sealant needs to be applied. And then also within the establishment of new orchards, um, farmers need to take care because um, these pathogens are definitely stress-related pathogens. Even though we find 65% of trees are infected, we don't have the same fallout in commercial orchards. Uh, you do have um, um, cankers that occur in commercial orchards, but not to that high rate. So we also did um, soil sampling, which I haven't shown here. Um, on those 13 orchards where we sampled um, diseased trees, and it, it, was, it was evident that it was um, submarginal soils 
uh, which then, um, where they had this problem with cankers developing. If you do have a canker, you can apply remedial pruning by pruning the affected plant part off uh, well below the affected area and also removing dead trees. So in one of the farms that we were, um, there were a couple of dead trees within the orchard and when we um, uh, picked uh, or removed one of these dead trees, we find the fruiting bodies of Schizophyllum cominae. Schizophyllum cominae is an important wood rot fungus within the, the apple industry. Um, and you can see its fruiting bodies there. So that fruiting body produces lots of spores that can be dispersed via the air and infect a pruning wound. And we did find this fungus also within pruning wounds. So, so yeah, so then I would like to just acknowledge all of those listed on the last slide. Time's up. <laughs>